Yeah. Which that was my problem. Hey, handsome boy. Hey, cool dude. Oh my gosh, black polish. Emo is alive and well, everyone. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so excited. Bye, Ash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never missed anyone as much as I've been. Oh my gosh, you knocked over. That was a present I set up for you. That I was brought down to the table before? Yeah, but it was balanced on your microphone is what you, what you neglected <laughs> what I failed to, to notice. notice. Um, welcome to No Bummers. Is this on? It's Are podcast we on? where we talk about whatever we want. The whole time? Including the fact that Emo is alive and well alive. in 2023. Yeah. Do you go to the concert? You know I did. <laughs> um, That's my hyperfixation, and I feel like I just had to walk in and make it an entrance. Are these what? A little bit. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think I was going to go to Institute with my nails painted black? I don't know you where you were. You I was in Institute. <laughs> I can barely see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to No Bummers. It's a podcast where we talk about whatever we want, and the only don't rule is nail polish on my emo's shirt. not dead. And no bummers. No bummers. But emo music is all about bummers. Yeah. That's literally what it is all about. Mom, this is water. Mom, this it's, is not water. It is sparkling water. It <laughs> has watermelon in it. I just feel like my mom is going to see that and be like. My mom definitely did that when I started drinking the good death. I think she's seen me drink it before. Maybe not. You guys. My hyperfixation this week is the Mayday Parade concert and the all-time low concert. It was so good. Tori and Evan were there. I know they were. You saw them? Oh, absolutely. <gasps> Fun. <laughs> they, at, at one point during the concert, he was like, now I want to see people up on shoulders. And so like everyone was like getting on shoulders of people. And I look over to my left and I was like, that's Victoria. <laughs> She was on Evan's shoulders. Yeah. So, so I ran cute. over and moshed with them for a minute. And then I was like, all right, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you go with? Caden and Janessa. That's so fun. Yeah. Uh, Janessa is a big fan of the same music as me. And so it was a lot of fun. And Caden wore his work clothes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm in a polo. No. Yeah. He was. It was like a button up shirt. <laughs> with khakis. With khakis. <laughs> And me and I'm like in shorts and just like this huge boxy black tee, <laughs> just going like pumping my fist and everything. Janessa's going wild next to me, and then Caden's behind, just standing behind. Caden's <laughs> Kaden, a full on dad. Like he loves eighties music. It's so fun for him. I love Caden. It's I, fine. I we love a... him in spite of his flaws. Right. I. I have the most enchanting photo of him <laughs> where when Josh Cooper, you can beep it out if he doesn't want his name on the podcast, beep. but when Josh was <laughs> playing when he was in suit up soldier uh -huh. and I just have this, the sweetest picture of Caden. He's just like trying to film his friend. <laughs> it is the sweet. I'll try to, I'll send it to you. Please do. It is the cutest picture ever. And he's like, has his tongue sticking out. He's like, got to get a good angle. Trying to get a good pick. He, was that the concert at Rock Canyon? No. Um, I think we were somewhere in Salt Lake. Oh, I must not have been in that one. Uh-uh. You were not at that one. But it it's... <laughs> I was like watching Caden watch Josh. <laughs> I wasn't Kaden really Caden is actually like Just a good, good person guy. to have at a concert, I found out last night. Because he was good at just like holding the line <laughs> mm -hmm. so that I was free to just be myself. I love that. Yeah, Kate, I'm a big fan of Mr. Groves. Of he's Coden growing Graves. on me. We'll see if we keep him around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's still in the trial period for you. <laughs> you guys want to hear an embarrassing story? Yeah. Okay, on Is the it way. your hyperfixation? No. <laughs> Do you want to hear the hyperfixation? No, first? I'm just teasing. <laughs> okay, so I was on my way here, and you know that song by Taylor Swift called, um, or when she's like, don't call me kid, don't call me, I think it's called. Look at this and What is it called? That you've made me, you showed me secret <laughs> language, I can't speak with anyone else. Somehow it makes it harder. You know damn well. 
It's my favorite line from any Taylor Swift song. You know damn well, for you, I would ruin myself a million little times. What's it called? You gonna help her with the title nope, of this? I'm gonna song? let her get there. <laughs> Leave the perfume on the shelf. <laughs> let me think. Cause that's the thing about illicit affairs. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's called illicit affairs, and I was like, it was that like I turned my car and I was driving, and I, it was like that part is like, don't call me kid, don't call me baby, and I'm like really getting into it on the way here. Then I was on that like little side road that they just put in so i'm like no one's on this road <laughs> there certainly was someone on this road and he was like like doing that when i went by and i was like sir i need you to forget <laughs> if you drive a gray ford focus <laughs> i need you to forget everything you saw so i can go on with my life no, you that's know so but i was just like and have then you I listened was... to that song no i think you would really like a list of affairs you probably would I probably would. But I was just like, you know, some some fist pumping was involved. It is. Some a, head banging. It is arguably an emo song. Yeah. It's very good. But anyway, so, sir, if you are watching this and you drive a Ford Focus and you were there about. <laughs> Bolo one <laughs> gray Ford Focus. <laughs> Remember when that? Please unsee what you saw. <laughs> Close your eyes. You remember forever. when that like alert came out and it just said "gray toy"? I feel like <laughs> gray toy. I feel like we talked about. We this talked already. about it. We yeah. Have, yeah, that's still one of my favorite things. Yeah, that we all gray toy. Gray toy. I remember I was still teaching preschool and I was just like, I think that was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> What's a gray toy? <laughs> I don't want one on our freeway. I'm looking for it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> My I eyes are peeled. I don't know what it is, but I will know it when I see it. No, gray toy is getting past these papers, ma'am. <laughs> Unspotted. <laughs> also, when I was driving here, it was very eventful. But when I was driving here. A, a person in a blue hatchback Audi zoomed past me. I'm going 83. Was it which Scott? Is, <laughs> I thought. So, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So I'm like trying to follow this person. All the while I'm like doing talk to text. I'm like, Scott, slow the hell down. Like I like. Was it Scott? No, it wasn't. Oh. And you can oh. beep out Scott. <laughs> so that we're not dragging his name through the mud for me. Like, obviously it was Scott. <laughs> Well, Notorious as someone criminal. who's been a passenger in his car, he I drives think I very can fast. Say that Does he? That's it's why I thought it was reasonable him. that she thought it did, was. Him. Did the license plate say "Deeds Master Flex" or it, whatever? It didn't. It, was it a black license? Plate? It was. So that's why those I was are like, slick. I feel like it was Scott. I feel like it was. I feel <laughs> he's like he's pulling. Yeah, he's pulling How my How many leg. buckets of tools and various <laughs> adhesives were in the back? I could not see because tinted windows. <laughs> Dang it! Also sounds like a Scott move. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, if you're on the freeway right now, you need to slow down because he's going like 110 probably. Oh my what? Gosh. Where did? Where was he headed? Did you see where he got off? Vineyard. So, and I was like, I was kind of going fast to try There's to catch like up not, with him. What, like, what is in Vineyard that you could possibly need to get there that quickly? I know. I don't know. Booty call. I, oh. I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> For his sake. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, but, yeah, but he's texting me and he's like, it wasn't me. We should all text him right now. Sure. On our own and say, slow Independently, down. <laughs> I saw a car ripping down the freeway. Was that <laughs> like, you? Literally, so fast and it was a blue well because if it was if you were going 83 and it whipped past you i'm telling you 110 at least anyway that's wild that's and crazy. that's right by the highway patrol offices yeah that's a bad place to speed yeah, yeah. i don't want to be doing that anyway so that's that's nothing that's just a story i wanted to tell you <laughs> i it was it was like an eventful day for driving i was I thought that I saw well I did see one thing while I was driving today and then I think I saw one other thing that was both curious okay. I was driving down Orem State Street and I just saw a man pushing his lawnmower down the sidewalk Oh, like in the middle of Orem you gotta keep the grass short <laughs> well and I was like I like was doing like a look around to be like 
are there houses around here? <laughs> is or there like, grass on the pavement? No, just like businesses. And it didn't look like he was wearing like a uniform of like a landscaping company. Like pushing it or driving it? Just pushing it. Like he was, he, he like just like was taking his lawnmower for a Or he a doesn't have a lawn. And so he's like, <laughs> but it's just curious. Mow the sidewalk. <laughs> Nobody else seems to be That's doing it. Very strange. Because it, yeah, it was like right across from, um, True Religion Pancakes. You know where that is? Mm-hmm. It was like across the street from that. And I was like, <laughs> there are no homes here, sir. Where could yeah. you possibly be headed? Where the heck? <laughs> so if you're watching and you also drove a gray Ford Focus, was that what it was? Yeah. Maybe it was the same or man. A blue Audi hatchback. <laughs> <laughs> he finally yeah. got to his car. <laughs> He, he put yeah and he's so late because he's been the walking in the yeah he had to put the lawnmower in the hatchback and get it immediately to vineyard yes yeah it was 110 urgent. miles an hour worth of getting it to in vineyard in yard <laughs> <laughs> my, okay <laughs> My hyperfixation for the week is Queer Eye. I've been oh, watching the new season so good. and I love them so much. I want Karamo to be my best friend. Really? Um, I like Karamo. Yeah, I love him so he's much. He's the one you'd pick? Well, I if think you can only pick one. No. Go now. Oh, gosh. Um, there is a right answer. Ooh. Jonathan? No. Bobby? No. Tan? Anthony, obviously. Thank I, you, Mo. I don't even watch Queer Eye. <laughs> Anthony? Yeah. Listen, okay, so I would pick Anthony for his cooking skills, obviously. Like, what else? He, that's what he does. I know, but he's also such job. a... He's a cutie boy, too. But that see, that's the thing boy. is he, he has it on lock that, like, he would make delicious food. Mm-hmm. Plus, his dog is adorable. Mm-hmm. Neon? Mm-hmm. Such a cutie. Mm-hmm. And he's so nice. I mean, they're all so nice. Mm-hmm. But I think Tan's pretty nice too. But Anthony's. I feel like I have more of a shot meeting favorite. Tan because he lives in Utah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, his mm-hmm. husband's yeah. from here. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, them and their baby live in Park City. Mm-hmm. Probably. We should go meet them. I lo- just drive the streets <laughs> of Park City. <laughs> Tan. Tan. <laughs> yeah. I love that all the guys call him Tanny. It's just very cute to me. <laughs> but yeah, Karamo. He's one that I'd be like, like, he would be the most beneficial friend of them to have because he keeps it real, but he also is, like, just such a sweetheart. Yeah. I love Crown. They all are. Like, yeah, they're all so nice. I don't think you could go wrong with being any of their friends. I know. I love but, like, Jonathan. Anthony. I just, like, want to give him a hug because he has just so much love to give, you know? Yeah. Mm. I like his podcast. I didn't know he had a podcast. You didn't? No. I don't know if he still does it. He might not do it anymore. But Dang. it's called Getting Curious with Jonathan Jonathan Van Ness. And he would just invite a different person that was like an expert at something. And they would just talk about like what they're an expert in. Oh, he had a fun. Netflix show. Yeah, it's the same as the Netflix show. Like the same okay. premise. Yeah, because he had the ice skater come on. Mm-hmm. And now he loves ice skating. Yeah. Aw. Like that. what a cool way to live your life. To just yeah. be like. Come and talk to me for an hour about what you love, what you're passionate about. That is so fun. Isn't that cool? Yeah. What would you talk to him about? Podcasting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I don't know. Sleep. What are you an expert at? You're an expert at sleep? Yeah. <laughs> I Actually, think we that's all not are. true. I have not slept very much in the past like three days. I went to bed at oh. three o'clock this morning. Oh. And Woke you up had at to seven be seven up- and oh. went to work. Yikes. That's tough. I didn't choose the pop punk life. The pop punk life chose me, you know? <laughs> Morgan, what would you um, talk to him about? Uh, maybe like Disneyland? Yeah. Probably. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun, too. I think, I think he would to be to. into that. Yeah. I love him. I love them all so much. They just do They're just such precious. good things for people. What would you talk to him about? Um... Maybe makeup. Yes. Maybe. He'd be he so would get into, that into makeup with you. Yeah. I love that. Jonathan, you're watching. JVN. I would talk to I would talk to him about dogs. He, oh, he and yeah. Anthony started a a pet food brand. 
Really? Oh, I do remember when they did the, like, they're like, we have something going on between us. Yeah. And everyone's like, they're dating. They're dating. But they weren't. No. <laughs> absolutely dog not. Dog food. <laughs> yeah. No, dog food. Silly. <laughs> you have to Silly. that. <laughs> Yeah. So this is an open invitation to Jonathan Van Ness and it, any other member of Queer Eye. I love you all so much. You have to know. We we would move this podcast to a, a bigger space if all five of you decided you all wanted to come. Definitely. <laughs> come to Utah and fix all three of our lives. If you would. I wish you would. All four of our four lives. Four of us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They just do so much good. Like, I just In love such a that. short period of time. And it's incredible. They are out like asking the real questions, changing the lives. Yeah. Oh my no, gosh. Karamo is a really real one. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I love him so much because he's like, he's asking the questions that's like that cut deep. Yeah, this is what you need to hear. Yeah. So it's not you... comfortable and you're not no. gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but he but he does it in such a loving way that he kills it. I yeah. I freaking love those guys. But you don't watch Queer Eye? Uh no, I think I watched like the first couple seasons, but I don't, I don't love any like reality TV shows. I I pretty much just watch like. Except for that yacht one. I was gonna say you watch Yacht one, Masters though. and The Bachelorette. That one I got. I don't watch The Bachelorette. <laughs> don't you one. watch a dating show? What dating show do you watch? I don't watch a dating I watch, show. Um, oh, is it you? Maybe Love is Blind. Love is Blind. That's I get what we like talked about. I get bizarrely into some reality TV shows and then I drop them. Like I don't watch. I don't watch that yacht show anymore. See, I can't do any of the dating ones. No, I don't and the watch yacht that. one. Yeah, me neither. I've seen clips of the yacht one, and I'm like, that's not for me. It it gets really repetitive because it's just like the same thing. Like, oh, we've got say, really bad people, and how many problems? These two can people are sleeping boat? together. Yeah, it gets really repetitive. Six, <laughs> maybe six problems. Yeah, I think that's it. You sail away from and all they the just other ones. Keep going around in you a just circle. Sail away. Just turn on the motors. Yeah, and sail away. You're fine. <laughs> Um, did you ever watch Triangle of Sadness? The movie I told you about? <laughs> no. Did, did you I did? tell you about? No. Did you? No, we talked about it on this show. I don't remember that. <laughs> You're out of your mind. You look mind, at me so honey. intensely. Triangle of Sadness. It's a movie about a luxury yacht. Oh, uh, we did. Year. We, we did. talked about it. it I okay. have not watched it because I <laughs> evidently just completely I, I thought I was going crazy but in reality it we, is we you three what is it I, jacuz I don't know I don't how know it if it's got past me because okay. I live this two hours of our life at least three times a week <laughs> I don't know how I did you hear that Sadie you got to bump those numbers up you're not our number one fan <laughs> <laughs> it's a rookie number I love Sadie <laughs> so much uh yeah triangle sadness which I guess you're not if you're not into the yacht movie anymore it's Maybe well, not for you. You said it's a scary movie? No. Oh, okay. What kind of movie is it? Um, I don't want to give anything away. It's a it's a you can't even tell me the genre. It's a <laughs> no. Oh. It's a I mean it's a dramedy. Okay. Like a is drama it, comedy. Is it like a little spooky? Not not super. Okay. Well, it's on Hulu, so yeah, you should watch it I will tonight. See what tonight. I can Stay find. up until three a.m. watching it. Well, oh. She has her grave. I'll stay oh, that's up until true. Seven a.m. watching it. So. Yeah, it'll be a great movie for you to pass time. Yay! <laughs> Actually, no, because then I'm gonna wake up to a text message tomorrow morning that says, "What did you have me watch?" Because <laughs> there, there's one thirty-ish minute chunk in the very middle uh-huh. that made me question everything. Okay, <clears throat> noted. I'll be ready. You'll for that know. You'll know. Then. <laughs> okay. You'll know when it starts. Okay. And ke- and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going for oh, thirty minutes. Okay. It's not You're anything. It's not like sexual or anything. Yeah. Am I gonna have to like turn my computer away from my <laughs> no. coworker? Well, you might want to. Oh but gosh. It, it's not anything sexual. I promise. Or okay. like gory or. Okay. There's a third option. Okay. There is another. I'm so scared, but okay. Uh, what's your hyperfixation this week? Um. 
I don't have one, but I feel myself slipping into one. Like, I'm not in it yet, but I'm going to be. And that's Five Nights at Freddy's. Because... <laughs> no, that's no, not, that no. is not a, a words that I ever thought I would it's, hear you say. It's just too late for me. Because, first because of all... Because Peter Malark is in the new movie? Yeah, they released the trailer for the movie? new movie. They're making a movie. Comes yeah, out in October. With, with Josh Hutcherson. And... It's so hilarious to me that that's like his debut back into film is like the Five Nights at Freddy's. I movie. bet it's probably good. I probably it's, will be. Blumhouse so then, Productions is doing it. The people that do yeah. like The Conjuring and like yeah. all of those. those spooky ones. So yeah. I really, really want to watch it, but I also want to like know more about it. So I'm probably. Are your gonna... there's like your nephews into it? Like how did I? I'm just curious, like how you got there well, specifically. I used to work at Stride, which sure. is the younger group of mentally ill children right and they talked about it all the time like this kid would like get mad at me and they would just kind of like blurt things at me that i was like oh but i like didn't know what they were talking about because they were kids and they couldn't like connect the dots for the story for me and then now that i work with mentally ill teenagers well they have the same hyper fixations i guess as the younger ones and they also are obsessed with five nights at freddy's but they're able to like form a comprehensive yeah so they're like oh like it but they can't really talk to me about it because they have (laughs) um they have (laughs) Is he where he's supposed to be or what? <laughs> It'll be like a, I'm a quick, <laughs> quick crack car wash where every time we turn it off the cameras and turn it back on, he's just like in a different spot and you have to find where he's at. Yeah. Just closer to the camera. <laughs> the last section, he's just in front of the camera. He's like, hello, mother trucker. <laughs> um, but yeah, they can't really talk to me about it because um, I think it's like gory and so they are not Can allowed they... to have conversations about certain core. things like violence so, and stuff. yeah Makes so they sense. keep being like and then it gets really bad and i'm like what happens and they're like we can't tell you <laughs> and i'm like oh sorry <laughs> so i want to like watch some playthroughs and see because i don't want to play i don't i don't play video games but i well, do watch you, other people play them. well maybe you would like it if you played it maybe but i'm scared i've never played a horror sh- you a should play granny <laughs> Kate oh. and groves and i Granny rocks. No, we played it at Taylor and Trevor's wedding. <laughs> that was supposed to be a happy occasion. I'm sorry. And you brought I, Granny into it? I think he did, but I was glad. <laughs> <laughs> but we were playing it, yeah, at, at their wedding, and it was awesome. <laughs> what? What is it? Um, You'll so- have to download it and find out. <laughs> Dude, I think you would like so you. Scared. Well, you like scary movies, so I don't see why you would like this. It's like you're in this old creaky house, uh-huh. and there's a crazy killer grandma, and she's blind, and she's blind, and so you're like sneaking around the house oh trying to gosh. do stuff, but not trying not to get caught by Granny. And she catch it when she catches you, it's it will ruin your life. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> that I can play. It. No, it's so funny. I like I like horror movies because I'm separated. Like I don't have to. You're deal not with interacting. It. Yeah. At all. The horror oh, games seem so scary because they're like, ah! I love you're... horror games. We, I used to play Slender Man <clears throat> all the time. I've yeah. never played Slender Man. I used to read like creepypastas about him, but I never. Creepypasta. See, yeah. that is so different from me. Like, I, you could never catch me reading a creepypasta. I love But like, I will play Slender Man. Before yeah. I had unlimited data on my phone, when I it was like my first year in college, we were like on a very limited data plan. I would look up creepy pastas during the last ten minutes of my class and screenshot them like all the way down so that I could read them on the bus back to my apartment. <laughs> that's tender. <laughs> that's that's gonna, incredible. That's gonna be one of those things I like tell my kids about, and they're like, "Why don't you just use your data?" And I'm like, "You gotta use your data." You don't understand. <laughs> you had a limit. Data- Data was for maps, and that's it. If you went over that limit, yeah. your mom would get mad. <laughs> You'd get a text from mom. <laughs> Remember when there was like limits on text messaging? Oh my gosh! I and do. you'd be like, "Don't I text me! I texting. can't respond." Yeah, I didn't have texting for a long time. Really? I think I had a limited had number of minutes, but then I had unlimited nights and weekends. So it was like, "It's Ooh. after nine p.m., shoddy. Where you at?" Yeah. <laughs> you shoddy. <up. laughs> You up texts. No, um, not text, just calls. You up. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? Maybe oh, Slender Man, where it's like the camera uh-huh. and he's in your house somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they have like an AR one where you hold up your phone. 
and you can't move it away from you. you so oh, you're no. literally just looking like this around. And, and it's like, like just showing you your house and oh, then no. it'll just like put Slender Man in the corner. Oh no. Oh no. I think yes. <laughs> Playing it's that awesome. at Aspire would be so Don't scary. Or right? what if, hear me out, we go up in the forest. To the woods. <laughs> I think I would perish, but I'm down. <laughs> I am down. Morgan is willing to like fully spend a night in a cemetery, I, you, but will not no play. Sense. But will not play the Slender Man game with us. Here's, okay, here's the thing: is I don't think that I would actually see something if I spent the night in a cemetery. You're not actually seeing Slender Man. So I what part? Am, what part of Slender Man being on the phone don't you understand? I don't know. I'm worried we're gonna so like conjure I, him. So in real life. what if? What if we were in the cemetery and I showed you a picture of a ghost? Would you be scared? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Slimer from Ghostbusters. Is it like I don't Casper? know. <laughs> You're so funny. It's Slimer from Ghostbusters. Well, he seemed pretty cool, so. She's attracted to Slimer. Uh, no, it's not what I said. <laughs> Don't put words yeah, in my walked mouth. right into that one. <laughs> I know I did. I what is do. it about Slimer that you find attractive? Nothing. <laughs> I said he was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna defend myself. Trying to I'm play all coy. Keep putting my foot directly. <laughs> Try, into trying my to play mouth. coy. He's just. He just seems really cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway. Did you tell us what your hyperfixation was? Yes, five nights at Freddy's. Five nights at Freddy's. <laughs> if you recall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. It's really warm. I think here. I need a fidget toy. Okay. I'm, take yeah, we'll yeah. take a break. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Never ever let it cool. <laughs> Keep it bubbling in the pot. What you got? Ovaltine. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? It's like an office blooper. And he's like, through the lips and past the teeth. Look out, stomach. There we go. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> do you who wants to go first we have a shared topic so do you want to go first oh a shared topic yeah lazy but okay <laughs> yeah, <it was> lazy. <laughs> uh this is a disney land specific special this is yours is about a... disneyland yeah i brought my duck out of my jeep for the occasion his name is walter i can't <laughs> hold it too close because i'm out of focus oh are you <laughs> kidding <laughs> Rest in peace, Walter. Uh, we will have a funeral on Saturday. In lieu of gifts or flowers, please. Send Disneyland tickets. Please. Oh, please. <laughs> it's what Walter would have wanted. <laughs> uh, so for my topic, I have just prepared. Did I already say what we were doing? Disneyland? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Disney. I thought I did, but I couldn't. I could not entirely remember. Uh, I have written a poem. Three questions. <laughs> okay. The first of which is, you're put in charge of Disneyland. Finally. Bob Iger calls you and uh -huh. he says, "Morgan, Jackie, do you accept the call?" Yes. Yeah. You and he says, "Called me ten years ago." Well, no. So he says, "Your first act, you have to shut down one ride." Easy. In every land. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> in every land? In every land. Okay, so let me think. Well, so we're Mountain's starting. Being shut down for nope, Critter it Country. Can't, it can't. No, so if you shut down Splash Mountain, it will not reopen as Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Oh, no. Like, it would yeah, just be gone. and you'd ruin gone. my life if you did that, because I'm so excited for Tiana. You would okay. ruin her life. All right. So I hope you're happy. Now that you're choosing this. I hope this. you're happy, Rachel. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. Uh, so I think we <laughs> can start Where? in Tomorrowland. No! <laughs> okay. Astro Blasters. Oh, see, mine would be Autopia. Yeah, I would shut down Autopia Autopia also. is a classic, though. No, Autopia is stupid and outdated. And they, if you're going to do make it, it cooler. redo it yeah. and make it better. That's what I but think, But you too. said shut down forever. It can't No, reopen. that's what I'm saying is it would be my vote. Like, well, boom. Shut down Autopia. Use that space for something better. Yeah, because as much as, um, like, for me, Astro Blasters is not, like, my favorite. But it's I think it's very cute. Yeah. And I love Toy Story, so I wouldn't shut down that. I've actually become quite fond of Star Tours since our last 
trip. Good. Oh, if you were going to say t- Star Tours, we would have a fight to the death in this podcast room. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I didn't say that. I'll, but I haven't. Well, I haven't been on Astro Orbiter. Oh, that's the little one. Yeah. Astro Astro Orbiter is fine. Yeah, I wouldn't take. I wouldn't do that to the we kids. We have a video. You know, we have a video of Hunter going on it, and he's like Astro Wee! Blaster <laughs> or Astro Orbiter. You don't even know what it's called. I don't. Fake I fan. don't write it. But Hunter, he's like, my parents never let me ride it when I was little because they're they like, well, they were just like, oh, like, let's, why don't we go on Space Mountain instead, oh. like bigger rides? And so when we were there with him, he was like, do you think I we had time? Like, if if I could do it, maybe. What and did he think about it? Loved it. We have a video of him going me on it. He he was he was taking care of his inner child, and that was just so tender to me. That's um, cute. so I, I guess I should have thought about this before we started shutting down rides, but I was thinking we could do it like how we did your ice cream bracket where like we have to come to a conclusion together. Oh, I have another one that I think maybe we could agree on. Finding Nemo's submarine voyage. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I can fine get behind with that. that. Yay. Okay. So let's, <laughs> let's shut that down. Cause I do. Autopia stays. <laughs> the wor- arguably the worst ride at Disneyland. It's not. <laughs> well, it is bad, but it is it, Walter. It's rideable. Disney wanted it. There. I sure. cannot go on Finding Nemo's you can, submarine But you voyage. can ride Autopia? Yes, I can. We, we have no, to man. ride it. I a hundred percent would go on Autopia over Finding Nemo submarine voyage or whatever. Well, it's you called. would be alone. Okay, I'll have a great time, not in a cramped, stupid submarine. I hate that, that ride. Smells like farts. You would oh, rather be in a cramped car. Yeah, yeah. the cars are not. They're built. fine for me. They're not. They're, they're they're not built for a large boy like myself. <laughs> I'm not a large boy, so I do fine. You're not. Hey. <laughs> okay, what's the next? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're you a beautiful think? girl. Thank you. And your skin <laughs> you're is You're a flawless. lovely woman. Thank you. I was actually thinking that when you were talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. I was like, wow, her makeup is killing it today. Thank you. Of course. You're my favorite. <laughs> no, that's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the next I land? I said the bar pretty low. You're welcome. <laughs> what's the next land? Fantasyland. Oh, golly. Do you want me to read you a list of the I'm rides? say Mr. Toads. Yeah, I would probably say that. So we got Pinocchio. Oh, or Snow White. The Circus Train. Uh, King Arthur, The Circus Train, Dumbo, Mr. Toad, Peter Pan, Mad Tea Party, Alice in Wonderland, Matterhorn, The Storybook Canal, or It's a Small World. Okay, easy. Frog Man, Mr. Toad. <laughs> really? Yeah. You would close down Mr. Toad over like the carousel. Yeah. Not the carousel. I'm not closing the carousel. Like, are you kidding? Absolutely not. It's a staple. You can see it going as you're walking towards the castle. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to show you the most gorgeous pictures of Morgan on the carousel. I'm not, and no, I'm not, not saying it's not she's pretty. Not. And it's going to be showing. And it's going to change your mind about those. Because I don't like people looking at pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> Jade. The chloroform. Is like, <laughs> I'm like... Sleep. <laughs> Listen, not not the carousel. It's so cute. No, see, see, but I look at the carousel and I think there's no. It's not. There's no Disney on yes, it. It's there. Sleeping Beauty's carousel. There's Sleeping okay. Beauty all over it. Okay, like paintings You're of right. Sleeping Beauty. We want the actual Sleeping Beauty. There? Well, but no, but like Sorry, Mr. Toad's Wild busy. Ride is like a movie. It is an old one that nobody watches. Oh, an old one? Like how Autopia is an old ride? Oh my gosh, I you hate when he uses things against me! Ah! Lawyer! <laughs> you, want, you want Mr. Toad's Wild Ride over the carousel? I love Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I can tell you the last time I rode Mr. <laughs> Toad's Wild Ride and it was the last time I was at Disneyland. Do you wanna oh. know when the last time was I rode the carousel? I tried you getting her know. to ride it, she didn't want to. <laughs> Are you scared of hell? Is it your Catholic upbringing? You know what? There's it a... flashes back. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, the nuns. I'm like, Sister Mary Clarence. <laughs> She's coming. We didn't really push for it. We were very busy. I asked twice if you wanted to. It doesn't matter though Did, because you didn't say you wanted to. I I asked if you wanted to, but it doesn't matter. And we I have said to no. keep moving. It's we're not, on a strict schedule of closing a, these rides. It's not a great. It's not a great ride. Bob I, needs but an I answer. would agree that the circus train can go. I, I could get behind the circus train. I could get behind the circus. Don't train. Don't love it because it is a cute ride and I it's fun and it's from 
Dumbo. I think the last but, time I went on it was like 10 years ago. Yeah, I also haven't been on it. Okay, Circus Train is dead. It. Okay, fine. Okay. Fine, pull my leg. Okay. <laughs> I just want our listeners to know that she was smiling at me. <laughs> Next <Okay>. up. Fine. <laughs> Next up, we're going to group two lands together just because they kidding? have smaller, like, pools to choose. Okay. Gonna... So we had to pick one from the these so two lands. anxiety inducing. So Toontown okay. and Galaxy's Edge Ooh. are grouped together. So we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Can't Railway. either at Galaxy's Edge. We have Mickey and Minnie's R- Runaway Railway. No. The, <laughs> no, it is too cute. The Go-Go Gadget Coaster. Yeah, that could go. We have <laughs> Roger Rabbit's Toonspin. Actually, we had a great time on that. <laughs> we, we have uh, Smuggler's Run and no way. Uh, Rise. Rise of the Resistance. No way in hell. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Both of the ones in, in Butu, not. we can agree, are safe, good. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Too good. So we're just dealing it's with Toontown, Go-Go essentially. Gadget, Go-Go Ghost- Gadget, that's Coaster really? thing. Go-Go Gadget, Ghoster. <laughs> Is it because you can't, you can't ride it because you're too tall? <laughs> Me? No, I doubt you can ride it. Are you serious? There's a height limit. I've never been on it. You haven't? Well, yeah, probably because I'm limit. too tall. Actually, it'd be more embarrassing if I wasn't tall enough to not go on that ride. I think. Is that the one that has a height limit? No idea. I'm pretty sure it has I'm a probably, height limit. I don't know. Yeah, I bet. You said it <laughs> if I, it would be embarrassing if I wasn't... <laughs> If I wasn't if too I wasn't tall. Too if tall. I was tall and not, oh then goodness. I wouldn't not ride it. <laughs> You dig? <laughs> you dig? I'm doing my best over here. Uh, I can get behind the gadget coaster. Yay. Okay, so let's close it. All right, are it's you, done. You are an idiot. By go, go, gadget I'm coaster. sorry I keep calling people idiots, but if you You're close stupid. down Rise of the Resistance, are you oh, dumb? No. No, one, no one in not. their right mind is going to close Rise and of the Resistance. And Millennium Falcon is so, so, so cool, Yeah, too. Smuggler's Run is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like the interaction yeah. that you get to push I, buttons. Can we please be the pi- pilots? We were not the pilots either time that we went on it. I've never been the pilot. Well, maybe you should go to flight school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You ever think? Did you no, ever think about becoming kidding. a pilot? I'm just kidding. I'm not ganging up on you with him. <laughs> I've decided now. <laughs> just I just now she on. decided. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she she just now yes. decided. Yeah. Okay. So these next two are also groups of two lands. So we have Norland Square. And Critter Country. Oh, okay. So we have Pirates, Haunted Mansion, no. Splash Mountain, no. and Winnie the Pooh. It's got to be Winnie the Pooh. I, it has to be, but I As love it so much. she is wearing a Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. You want to tell said, that to his face? She said, sorry, no bother. Buddy. Let's kill Winnie the Pooh. I, it it's would a make big me bother. So- I'm sad about it, but I'm not going to get rid of any of the other Pirates. Yeah, that's my choice, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> uh, yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Sorry, Sorry, Winnie. I do love it though. It's we, so we cute. did go on it. We had a great He's time. He's like, it's yeah, Wednesday. It's fun. Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next grouping. Okay. This one might be tough. Adventureland and Frontierland. You're grouping them together. Oh, Why are you doing you're a that? Bully. So we have the Jungle Cruise, Indiana Jones, uh, and Thunder Mountain. Don't you want to add in Cruise. Tarzan's treehouse? No, though? it's not a ride. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, Jungle Cruise. Politely f off. <laughs> Are you kidding? That Over is the... my favorite ride at Disney. What well, one would you close then? Exactly. Prob- you, so kindly f say off. It. Say it out loud. Are you gonna say, say it. Indiana Jones? Say it. Are you out of your say mind? Say it. Say it now. I would close Indiana Jones. <laughs> Disneyland. The Jungle Cruise is my favorite ride at Disneyland, Morgan. What do you want me to say? We are of the same mind, so that means yeah, you, you are to... wrong. No. Oh my it's my gosh. game. And they're both <laughs> closed because we can't come up with a decision. I'm just kidding. Ah! <laughs> Look what you've done. Are you happy now? Is Thunder Mountain like anything else? Is it like, like anything else? Like you can't close Big Thunder Mountain. Are you kidding? No way. Well, like I'm trying to get I, get nephew's... it so we can it's both. It's the wildest yeah. ride in the wilderness. No, listen. If we can keep both of your guys' favorites, then we might need to close it. Because if we have Space Mountain, that's kind of like it. If we have. I can't do it to my nephews. That's their favorite ride. I can't do it to myself. I've actually been thinking okay, about here's, it. Okay, here's the sacrificial lamb. Jungle we Cruise. We give up. Jungle Cruise. Phantasmic. Would you give <laughs> up Phantasmic? No. Sorry. See? No. 
See, she's not she's not willing to negotiate. I'm Morgan, not. It's a show and it's broken right I now. I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I would do that, but I'm just saying that's like the only thing I could feasibly think of that would be like on the level of a ride maintenance. Yeah. Like if we're talking about you have to cut the budget or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> No. That pesky or, Maleficent here's, dragon. Here's what we could we could probably agree on. Okay. The riverboat. Yeah. <laughs> that's riverboat. a no-brainer. Well that but that like that's why I didn't include it. Right. Because it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Okay, but why did you why that's so hard. Because it was a fun little a fun little experiment we did. <laughs> okay, what's next? Or is that it? That's all for Disneyland. Oh my gosh. Whew. But we're not going to go to California Adventure with that one. Okay. Bob, Bob is pleased with the cuts that you made. Thank okay. you, Bob. <clears throat> What's the next question so from Bob, Mr. Chapek? Bob, I mean, Iger. <laughs> from Mr. Paycheck. <laughs> Bob is like, wow, great job, everyone. Thank you. Super Imagineering. I know. Congrats. Thanks. Because of that budget, okay. you now have the ability to build one ride of your dreams Okay. And I have Disneyland it. and one in California Adventure. I have it. You just get one and it has to fit the theming of like wherever you're going to put it. Why? Well, because that's how Disneyland works. Well. So I'm saying you can't put like, oh, I want to build Star Tours, but I want to put it in California Adventure. Right. Like it would have to go in Star Wars Land. You have to. Oh, we have to rebuild something or build no. something new? No. No. Okay, I'm just I saying, like, that's just, money. like, an example. We get to do two of them, or So just you get one? to do one in Disneyland. Okay. Any land, you can pick the land, but okay. then you have to, like, build a ride themed around something in that land, or that would fit in that land. Okay. okay. I have both of mine. And then in California Adventure, same thing. I also have both of mine. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I don't know what land... You guys will need to tell me what land you think it should go in, but I want them to make a roller coaster that's, like, Yzma's, like, secret layer. Yes. That's and actually mine. Really? Yeah. Ugh. No, you, it's fine. It's great. Yeah, and I think that would be cool. Morgan and I talked about them opening just a villain park in general. Would be uh, so, so good. Do you want to hear some of our ideas? Yeah. So, um, like a Pirates of the Caribbean ride, like you're in the water, but they project something on the water so it looks like the soul's like flying through, like for Hades, mm. like... The underworld? Yes, yeah. Um. He built That's the all I have. underworld. I can't remember either. We had a ton. Yeah, maybe they could do like a um, a Tower of Terror type thing, but it be like Mother Gothel and like the tower oh, the or something. Tower. Like they could. Mm. That'd be really. Oh, cool. They could. That so she like, like cast a spell and you fall through the tower. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Yeah, and then I think that they could just like really make a ton of money on like food that they sure. would sell there and like drinks they could make. Yeah. Do you have any other ideas? So where would you I put the Yzma coaster? Um, because that was honestly the one I had thought of. Maybe like, like I want to say close to haunted mansion. Cause it's like kind of same vibe, but I don't know. It doesn't go. So maybe like, hear me out. Adventureland. Yeah, that's what maybe because I would say. Because there's that whole scenes of where them like traveling through the jungle and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So like I think it would f- that's like the best fit for it. Yeah, yeah I agree. Is sense. Adventureland. Yeah. Rip out Tarzan's treehouse and put yeah. that there. Or whatever treehouse. Swiss Family Robinson now. treehouse yeah. or whatever it's going back to. And put in the Isma coaster. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was mine too. What was yours? For Disneyland. For Disneyland? Um Oh my heck, I literally just had it. Oh, I I want them to do another Star Wars ride. In fact, my sister Jessica actually has a ton of theories that they she like Google Earthed like Disneyland and was like zooming in on Galaxy's Edge and she was like, they could put another ride right here. Like look at where they could put the building. Um, so she came up with Is that this Jessica? theory. Yeah. Good work, Jessica. She's, she's the kind awesome. of detective work we need. Yeah. Um, but I think it'd be really cool. Like, you know, the place in Galaxy's Edge, they have like a like a little store that's filled with like first order stuff. Like it's like the bad guys. That's yeah, like where over the stormtroopers by, are. Over by the shuttle, like Kylo Ren's shuttle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it'd be cool because I know they do like shows there, but I think it'd be cool if they like 
change that shuttle to be like an entrance to a ride. And mm. like, I love the idea that they already have um, with Rise of the Resistance of having like the actors or like, like the, the story. like the people like kind of like be mean to you, you know? So I think it'd be cool to like do that, but have like a similar story, but like do more stuff with the first order than they do on Rise of Resistance. Like a roller coaster? Yeah. Like you have to like take that it, the ship. That it's like, yeah. That'd be cool. Or that it's like hyperspace mountain. Oh, yeah. Where you're like in a coaster and there's just like projections going yeah, around you. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That'd be sweet. Yeah. I, I support just, it. I love Star Wars. I wish they would do more stuff with Star Wars. Same girl. Like yeah. two two rides. Well, I guess three. Not enough. Yeah. More. Uh, <laughs> more. Did you see? More! <laughs> That's what you want is you walk into the room and it's just Adam Driver, it's just Adam Driver. shirtless doing this stance. I don't want him to do that stance, but I wouldn't mind if he was there. But he talks like Austin Powers. Oh, <laughs> this is like a whole different vibe than I think we like lost connection. There. <laughs> no, I that would be cool. Yeah. To have like an actual roller coaster type on it yeah because it's it's fun that they do hyperspace mountain which right i love like i wish they would just leave hyperspace yeah i like regular space mountain yeah and i like ghost galaxy ghost galaxy is fun too but hyperspace mountain ghost galaxy is the one they do like for halloween, for halloween where there's like a, it's he's like a red looking skeleton ghost a ghost thing. nebula he like have you been at halloween time Yes, but I get sick every single time I go on Space Mountain. Yeah. So I don't can. go on R.I.P. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. But yeah, I think that'd be fun. What's, what, so yours was the Yzma. The Yzma coaster. So fun. That was, what, that was what made me think about the question was I was like, man, that would be so cool if they had that as a ride. Mm -hmm. If they, and like they put it in the movie. Why yeah. did you put it in the movie? Yeah. My other thought is redo Finding Nemo. Yeah. Make the submarines bigger. Yeah. Turn it into an Atlantis ride. Yeah. <laughs> now, now she's on board. Now I'm on board <laughs> because it's bigger and I don't feel terrible <laughs> going in there. Yeah. <laughs> or my third and final thought. Okay. Treasure Planet ride. <gasps> Yay. But we have to get rid of Autopia. <laughs> Fine. I'm just, I'm just teasing because it would have to go in Tomorrowland. It would, but he used to walk it, around there. Do it kind of like Peter Pan, where you have like the boat that you get into. Oh and then yeah, you're like, go it could be a space. beautiful ride. Would be sweet. Yeah. Treasure Planet's underrated. Also Atlantis. Yeah. Also the Emperor's New Groove. Yep. Amen. There I say. And it. the Hunchback of Notre Dame, but I understand I do love why the they don't of Notre Dame. <laughs> put that kind of stuff. Problematic. In their parts. Yeah. yeah. Lots of problems with mm -hmm. Hunchback, but it's a great movie. Such a good movie. <laughs> uh, what about California Adventure? Um, you know, in Endgame, when they are doing like they're like in their gray suits and they're like, okay, this is what we have in to try. In their gray toit. Their gray <laughs> toit, and then well, they like are trying to like go back in time or whatever. I don't know why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. But just a ride like that. Couldn't tell you. You don't know what, what I'm why talking about, or you don't. No, know why I know, doing it. I know. But when you said I don't know why they're doing that, could not tell you. Yeah, I think that I think to it's get the stones. Yeah, they're trying to get the stones, so they're trying to go to different points in time. So I, I think that'd be cool, like a like a stones coaster, like the, like Infinity the stone coaster adventure or, or whatever. And then, yeah, and <laughs> then like you go through like it's like there's screens and stuff, and you like have to go retrieve all the stones. Mm, that'd be cool. Like, would it be interactive, like no. Spider Man? No, I. No. Or just like a roller coaster that you just ride like in. a roller coaster, but then you like stop and then you like see what kind of happens and then you like go somewhere else. That you could know? be fun. Yeah. So I think do. I That'd only really saw Endgame one time in the theater, so not... that's why I don't really know <laughs> what they were doing. <laughs> what about you? Um, you know where they have the Quinjet. Yes, yeah. I think they're gonna put a ride there eventually. I think it's kind of the same as like the like Avengers Campus building, yeah, or whatever. And they they really just have like actors and stuff <clears throat> walking around sometimes up there. But I think it'd be really cool if you did kind of another Millennium Falcon ride, but with a Quinjet, and you had like a oh, mission. Oh, that could be fun. 
And then I wish that... And they could do a lot of different stuff like they do mm-hmm. with um, Star Tours. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I think that'd be really cool. But I also wish that they would have like actors more involved in stuff. Like they've got like the Stormtroopers. I have... I. I mean, I haven't seen the Stormtroopers the last few times I've gone. But they do, like, outside of Guardians of the Galaxy, they do, like, those dance parties. Right. And I think Like, you that, mean more stuff like that? Yeah. So I think it'd be cool to, like, incorporate that into a ride. Like, or maybe, mm. like, after you get off of the Quinjet. Kind of like, you know how Ray talks to you before you get on Rise of the Resistance? Mm-hmm. Like, she is like, hey, you need to do this. Something more like that. So I think it'd be cool is if they had, like, an actor. And it could it could be, like, any... A recorded any superhero, yeah. no, like I mean, like a real actor, because they oh. could like have it be anybody, and then every time you go, it's somebody different, because it's just like whichever actor, oh, they whichever have on person hand, is there, and then they could give you like a little speech, like from their character of like, hey, you know, like we really appreciate you helping out, helping us out on this mission or whatever. <laughs> That'd be so fun. And I'm just there in my full tree suit, <laughs> and I just say, I am Groot. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get you. Involved. I am Groot. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. I am Groot. That, <laughs> that would be so like funny. all of the safety instructions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and then they're like, like "Wait, it. what?" That would be so funny. <laughs> but I just, I wish they would do stuff like that because I know, like, they used to, like, there used to be like real mermaids the in the lagoon and stuff like that. But um, I wish they would bring some of that stuff back because I think that's so cool to yeah. like be able to see real people, a real life. And then it could be different every time. So it'd be kind of like Star Tours where you'd always be like, oh, I don't know who we're going to get this time. And then it would be like Thor, you know, and you'd be like, sweet. I've never seen (laughs) that guy before. (laughs) This is me in a record. (laughs) (laughs) Never mind. You've been banned from this project. (laughs) This is a no Cade project. They're like, how do you keep getting in here? Stay out. out. (laughs) And you're like, I am gross. (laughs) They're like, it's me, Rocket. They're like, no, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. Yeah. So what would yours be? Um whoa, what would mine be? I lost it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of Ariel. Oh. And what was I gonna put there? <laughs> you have, why do you have to get rid of something? So here's my problem. <laughs> here's my problem with Ariel. She that you don't have one end of story. <laughs> no, the problem not is she's not, too perfect. The problem is she's a mermaid. <laughs> He's a human. <laughs> okay, what's your problem? Uh, it doesn't it doesn't fit because it's the Pixar pier, and so it's like, sorry, Ariel, you belong in Fantasyland. There's I no agree. Space for her over there. They can buy more land. They should. Well, you already said what you'd get rid of. So we'll just put it where the Casey Jr. train was. Yeah. Right in the middle of the storybook boats. <laughs> that would, it's that just so, like all the mosaic. <laughs> we just go like, buy in this in show. Ride? No, but here is my, <laughs> what my vision for it is you turn it into a cocoa ride. Where you oh, like okay. travel and you like go across that marigold bridge and they could build it really cool where like they do in haunted houses where uh, you have to go across that bridge and it looks like it's really deep on either side. Yeah. like the Do you mirror. know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. You do that across like the marigold bridge and you go into the land of the dead and like you just see a bunch of stuff and the music would be so fun. All right. That's and I acceptable. just very much love Coco. Mm-hmm. Not that I don't love the Little Mermaid, but she doesn't, she doesn't belong there. <laughs> I don't think they're going to get rid of her. No, I don't think they will either. No. It's too, like... It's at least unlikely. It's so stylized. Like, I'd be really shocked if they were like, ah, let's just rip all of it out. Well, but you wouldn't rip it out. Like, you would keep the ride the same. But I mean, like, But just change out all of the guts. Like, even just in the line, though. They've got, like, seashells in the No, I know. That's why I'm saying, like, I don't... Like, I'm not expecting this is a real thing. But, like... That would be so fun. (laughs) Yeah. Coco is such a beautiful, beautiful movie. They could get rid of I Toy Story so Mania much. and put that there instead. Are you? I like that kidding one. Kidding me? That one Talk was... about look, rides that look close at, down all the time. Look at me in my two Christian eyeballs and tell me that you think Midway Mania deserves to be closed. I think Midway Mania. <laughs> you blinked. You blinked again a lot. To be closed. I have contacts. Okay. So do I. My eyes get dry. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> I can. I. 
My mom would be really disappointed to hear me say that. Get yeah. her back on the phone. Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dan. Diane. <laughs> First she killed your Netflix account. Uh, now she wants to kill Toy Story. <laughs> that is buck wild. That is the craziest thing I think you said all like, night. I, I don't like I, Toy Story. I would get rid of whirlwind before, like the emotional whirlwind. Before. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's an outside ride. Like you can't. Well, why? Why are you going for Toy Story's throat? You don't like Toy Story. Not, not particularly. You know what would be cool? I think we're done here. (laughs) Alexa, play I'm Not Okay, I Promise by My Chemical Romance. (laughs) Toy Story is fine. I'm not saying that Um, it's bad. I'm just saying that there's other things I would rather see. No. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. (laughs) Name five. Like Coco, I'm rooting for you. No, you're not. Because I I said get rid of the Little Mermaid. Oh, my goodness. Remove it. (laughs) I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, I, yeah. Take out Autopia and put the Little Mermaid there. That doesn't make any sense either. She's not from the future. Oh, <laughs> but Fantasyland is right next to Tomorrowland, so you just turn the right entrance so that you come in over by Matterhorn. Build a bridge across that little pond right there. That it would, would be, be beautiful. Cute. All right, all right. Disney Imagineering, I am available. As am I. <laughs> <laughs> We're a package deal. Yeah. <laughs> I would just like to be involved in the villain part. Yeah. <laughs> no would... other. You can't have me any other time. Yeah, I'm really busy otherwise. She has some really good ideas. I wish I remembered all of them because we talked about them. <laughs> For like an hour. Yeah. Really? But I can't remember so what all we said. Yeah, I, I think I for sure had a Tower of Terror, the boat ride, and then the roller coaster. You could do some fun ones with. Like scars, mm-hmm. like the hyena, be prepared. Yeah, stuff that would be mm-hmm. really cool. But yeah, the underworld part that would be super cool. Yeah, you could have just an Ursula ride or something like a storybook. Ursula, ride. and it's like the uh, Dumbo ride, but Ursula is giant in the middle, like at the end of the movie, and, and, and it's her like, tentacles. Yes, and you get into little shit. you guys. <laughs> We totally should. TM, 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 TM. Actually, they already own all of the stuff. But but this is our idea. You should IPA you should idea. talk to us. Well, that <laughs> yeah, is so cool. That would be amazing. That would actually be a great ride. I would love to be an imagine. To, to think, have like, her be giant, can... and she's like got the trident and the crown. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, you. There's so many like something with Jafar when he's the giant genie. The magic carpets. They have like yeah. a magic carpet ride at Disney World. Mm-hmm. That you could just do that when he's the genie. Mm-hmm. You could. I'm telling you. Possibility. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> the money is making itself at this point. People would totally go. I would go. Oh, yeah. What would you name the park? Hmm. Or would it just be like Disneyland? What did, what did Banksy name his like fake Disneyland park? Was it Dismayland? Like yeah, Dismay? Dismayland. That could be good. That'd yeah, be cool. something like that. Sorry, and have Banksy. it be like a Disneyland <laughs> sign, but then there's like... It's all like uh, messed up. There's just like a plank, like a plank sign over the knee, like N-E-Y, and it just says M-A-Y. May. Yeah. Ah, that'd be so cool. Have you, you guys haven't been to the Halloween parties. Mm-mm. No. We have so many questions for you, though. We do. Oh, do you? So yeah. I don't I don't talk about it right now? Because that's kind of how it is. Like, <gasps> on the Halloween parties, it's like yeah. the villains take over. We better be able to get tickets. The maybe. villains take over the parks. Ah! And so, like, you I'm go so around excited. and you can trick-or-treat at all these different villains. And there's, it's like all of these crazy villains that are normally not out. I'm so excited like to Madame see Ernesto Mim, de la Cruz. Ernesto de la Cruz. He looks so cool. Uh, Cruella, Gaza, like the Emma Gaza. Stone Cruella was there. That's so cool. Like so many really so cool. So exciting. You said Madame Pim is there? Madame Mim. Madame Mim. Madame Mim. I was thinking yeah. of Pim's uh, restaurant. I got him confused. Like Maleficent, um, the witch from Snow White. Like so many. Amazing. Like cool villains. It's like. You why, when would you ever see them? That's so fun. So do that year round. Everyone would go. Uh-huh. Call it Disneyland. Yeah. Wow, that would be so fun. <sighs> and I'm... to get to it, what do you have to do? You have I to drive know. through. <laughs> no, through I, the think, neighborhood I think I think it our would be like. <laughs> yeah. Oh yikes! Some of those are spooky. Yeah. No, like you. It would be like the Cave of Wonders. 
Oh. And you like go in through the Cave of Wonders or something. Cade, like that. you're so fun. Or you have different entrances, and like one of the entrances is the Cave of Wonders. One of the entrances is like Ursula's weird the, with the like yes. thing, Ursula's the skeleton cave thing. Yeah. With the yeah, with all of the ew, the weird little worm things, jelly worms, we whatever are they are. Worms. <laughs> Anyways, the that movie. is a great idea. Uh, Disney Imagineering, we will be reaching out. Disney. <laughs> For a third park here in Utah, <laughs> they should. I don't they know. Should, well, of all the states, in, like, they of all the states to put it. Land, it's not here. <laughs> no. Maybe New York. <laughs> There's no room. <laughs> they gotta. I've never been. <laughs> oh yeah. They can go like upstate. Yeah. It, like it just needs to be. Cl- but like the further you go upstate weather. in New York, it's yeah, it gets way snowy. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, okay, they could- Texas. <laughs> I would, Texas would be nice because it would be a lot closer. It still gets pretty cold in Texas though. New Mexico, let's just. I think it gets cold. Let's in New just Mexico. put it in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you could, but it would be it would be miserable in the summer. Right. Yeah, but so in like Texas. A, right, but I yeah, so I'm like I maybe Nevada maybe like. <laughs> Nevada. Maybe not St. George, but like right close to St. George because it's like it doesn't that, snow. It could be pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, like in Mesquite. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, I'll liven that place up. Anyways, <laughs> those are the two questions I had. I actually had a third one, but I don't think we have time to do it. Okay. Next but time. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. <laughs> Never let it fade away. Not even one. <laughs> Start coughing loudly. <laughs> you said two, three as in 23, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mar- two, Morgan's three, like, two, I do have to go to work. <laughs> two, I will jump on my mic and just cut everybody off. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> Thank you for watching No Bummers or listening. <laughs> or experiencing. <laughs> yes. Thank you to you three for experiencing No Bummers. And you as well. Yes, I'd like to thank myself also. <laughs> um, make sure to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Rate and subscribe at, or follow on Spotify, Apple Podcasts uh, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And then maybe next time we'll all just share one funny story from Disneyland. And I can tell my fat shame story and then you guys can share one of your funny stories from the time you went today, this past week, today. (laughs) (laughs) You got it. Because I'm sad we didn't get to go into your trip at all. So we'll go into that next time a little bit. Just just a little bit. Pick your your funniest story. We don't have to. But pick your funniest story. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) We'll see you around. Bye. Bye.